Today, we'll be exploring the exciting world of quantum computing. We will also discuss what makes it so different from the classical computers that we use every day. Classical computers use bits, which can be either a zero or a one. However, quantum computers use qubits, which can be both zero and one at the same time, thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. Superposition is a fundamental property of quantum mechanics that allows qubits to exist in multiple states simultaneously, giving quantum computers the potential to perform calculations exponentially faster than classical computers. To understand this better, let's consider a problem that is difficult for classical computers to solve, factoring large numbers. This problem is at the heart of many cryptographic algorithms used to secure our digital communications. Classical computers solve this problem by trying every possible factor until they find the correct one, which can take a very long time for large numbers. In contrast, a quantum computer can use a specific algorithm called Shor's algorithm to factor large numbers much faster, making it a potentially powerful tool for breaking cryptographic codes. However, quantum computers are not just faster versions of classical computers. They also have other properties, such as entanglement, that allow them to perform certain types of calculations in ways that are impossible for classical computers. Entanglement is a phenomenon where the state of one qubit is correlated with the state of another qubit, even if they are separated by great distances. This property is being studied for its potential use in quantum communication and quantum cryptography. Quantum computing is still a developing field, and there are many challenges that need to be overcome before practical quantum computers can be built. However, there is significant interest in quantum computing because of its potential to revolutionize many fields, including cryptography, drug discovery, and optimization. As quantum computing technology continues to advance, we may see it being used to solve problems that are currently impossible to solve with classical computers, leading to new discoveries and innovations.